like to thank my wife. Thank you for coming. It's gonna be my, my, my ride right home. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. I'd like to thank um, Vic and Joanne and Carlos and Mary making this week this weekend absolutely perfect. Your daughter and Kevin. I'd like to thank Kevin. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Mike Fay. Um, I met Kevin about six years ago. Um, I was working at World Energy, and Kevin was looking for a ticket out of the South Side of Manchester. <laughs> so he came down, and um, I interviewed him, and he was eager and enthusiastic. He was our only applicant. <laughs> so we ended up getting him a job. The funny thing was, when I asked him what the salary requirements were, they were lower than when Bo was in the ad. <laughs> I was saying that this was crazy. I'll tell you, those negotiating skills really make a great husband. When Kevin asked me to do this speech uh, a few months ago, I was like, oh no. <laughs> and I figured I've been married for nine years, and I can give some wisdom about marriage. And then I'd go into some good quality about Kevin. I told my wife, she said, don't try to give me advice. <laughs> <laughs> so instead I'm gonna concentrate on some of the qualities Kevin has that, that make him a great guy. First of all, Kevin is determined. When Kevin came down and worked for me, he was determined to be my friend. <laughs> I'm a guy from Boston and you know, by the time I was 10, I had all the friends I needed. <laughs> and Kevin, Kevin would keep hanging out with me, asking me to go places. And now, he and I are like brothers. I don't know how it happened. I never had to have any more friends after 10. But here we are today, I'm giving a speech. Kevin is talented. When Kevin came down, he told me he played the guitar and he liked to sing. You could do both at the same time. <laughs> so we invited me to open mic night down at Sally O'Brien's little bar in uh, Union Square, I think it was. I said, okay. So I told my wife and me, so let's go see live music, you know? Well, it turned out it was uh, open mic night Beatles. So I walk in there and all these guys are wearing turtlenecks and jackets and not top hair. <laughs> Kevin gets up there and he starts to sing, you know, he's got the guitar. I had listened to about 10 versions that love me do. I was dying. Like, this is the way you take me? I said, you're out. Right? Kevin by far was the best act that night. You know, best version of love me do. Granted, I probably won't throw you another one. Another quality of Kevin is Kevin is very caring. Two years ago, Kevin got his own apartment in Charleston. He moved into his apartment. He immediately started collecting the neighbor's cats. He was going to rescue them. <laughs> he got his first cat, Moxie, nice little cat. And he got a second one, he named him Mike Faye. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Thank God he met the eye. That's what the cat sucks. Last quality of Kevin is Kevin is lucky. Kevin is lucky to have met Diana. You're kind, beautiful, smart. Being together with your family this weekend and meeting everybody, you know, I can see how much love you have for each other and how much love you, love you have to give. I think Kevin is really lucky to be part of your family. And I know you guys love him, I can tell. So I don't have a drink. <laughs> The tour, so someone has to set me up. <laughs> Kevin and Diana, I love you both. And I wish you a lifetime of happiness.